As Matt Mapper is an online and interactive geographic visualization tool designed to facilitate exploration of transnational flows of hazardous waste in North America. We design Hazmat Mapper to support users of varying backgrounds, expertise levels, and interests, ranging from expert researchers and policymakers to community leaders and the general public. The tool includes four primary components. First, a central map depicting sites as proportional symbols scaled by imported hazardous waste with trade connections depicted as flow lines or states as chloroplast maps. Second, configuration controls, allowing users to re-express the dataset by site or state level and toggle between solid waste measured as kilograms or liquid waste measured in terms of liters or number of shipments. Third, advanced context controls, providing a stacked histogram overview of the data set, a legend for the proportional symbol, or choropleth maps, overlays related to environmental justice concerns, and temporal filtering controls. Fourth, an information panel, providing details about facilities selected from the map. The following scenario describes the use of Hazmat Mapper by a permit manager working in EPA's Region 6 office covering the South Central United States. She coordinates with state level agencies on renewing and approving permits for facilities that handle hazardous waste. She lacks a subnautic view of the waste between waste flows between these facilities and in using Hazmat Mapper she aims to make outliers at the state and site level more visible and to connect regional patterns to local environmental justice concerns. Upon arriving at Hazmat Mapper, the permit manager begins visual analysis by looking for regional level patterns in solid waste imports. She assesses that Region 6 has the second largest concentration of solid hazardous waste imports after Region 5, which covers the Great Lakes region. She then zooms into her region by double-clicking on the map. She can see that there is one site in Arkansas that imports substantially more solid hazardous waste than any other site in the region, and overall is one of the largest importers of solid waste in the country. The permit manager hovers over the site to retrieve its name. Reynolds Metal Company, Gum Spring Plant. She then clicks on the proportional symbol to view the flows of waste to this site. The resulting flow lines show heavy trade between the Arkansas site and several export sites in Quebec, Canada. This pattern surprises the permit manager. Given her jurisdiction in the south central U.S., she expected most of the waste to come across the U.S.-Mexico border. Intrigued by the site level patterns, the permit manager next wants to see how the pattern in solid as waste imports holds up at a state level. She selects the state's option in the map configuration controls. Re-expressing the central map into a state-level choropleth map colored using a five-class color scheme. The manager notices that Arkansas is the leading importer of solid waste in her region, solid hazardous waste in her region. This is surprising since Texas has a larger number of individual waste importing facilities and thus occupies a larger portion of her day-to-day -day regulatory oversight. The permit manager moves the cursor over the state to retrieve information about its imports. The three facilities in Arkansas imported nearly 30 million kilograms of, ha of waste. Using the same controls, she switches to viewing liquid waste imports in terms of volume, finds that a Similar though different pattern holds. Arkansas is a negligible importer of liquid waste, fewer than 80,000 liters. Nationally, it is negligible, although it is still the largest importer in Region 6. Through the Coropleth map, the permit manager determines that the state of Arkansas bears a disproportionate burden of waste management in the region relative to its size and population. Returning to the site's level proportional symbol map, the permit manager begins to assess potential drivers of the inequality and waste hazard within Arkansas. 
particularly as it may relate to socioeconomic inequalities in surrounding communities. Using the advanced context controls, the permit manager toggles overlays of poverty in race data for all import sites, which shade the site's proportion, proportional symbols according to the selected demographic attribute. This supports direct visual comparison between the volume of imported hazardous waste by symbol size and surrounding demographics by symbol color. She finds potentially troubling associations between waste hazard and demographics at two of the three waste sites, waste processing sites in Arkansas, at both the Gum Spring plant and the smaller Queen Harbor's El Dorado facility. The surrounding communities have populations with a larger percentage in poverty and larger percentage of minorities than the average across all processing plants in the U.S. The potential environmental justice concerns are particularly exacerbated for the El Dorado site. As the surrounding community falls in the highest quintile, or top 20%, across all U.S. import sites regarding poverty. To further her investigation at El Dorado, the permit manager needs to characterize the unique kind of waste the Queen Harbor's company brings to the community. The permit manager clicks on the Queen Harbor's El Dorado site, producing a flow map showing a range of export sites in Canada and activating an information window providing a statistical breakdown of the hazardous waste transactions. In this information panel, she sees that Queen Harbor's El Dorado imported over 1 million kilograms of waste between 2007 and 2012, making it the 10th largest importer in the U.S. Scanning the bar charts that illustrate imports by type, permit manager notices that most of Clean Harbor's El Dorado's imports are solids containing flammable liquid, flammable solids, aerosols, environmentally hazardous substances, as well as pesticides. Indeed, the company brings in a staggering array of different waste types. He hovers the cursor over each type and finds that many of these are often processed at the site using multiple disposal methods, thus making aggregate tracking difficult from paper, paper records alone. That said, she clicks on the Manifest tab and finds the paper records for the waste transactions occurring at the Queen Harbor's Eldorado sites available 